Hi. Um, so I'm going to try and make a short video. Myasthenia gravis, a rare disease, not a lot of information out there. Um, when myasthenia gravis pre presents in the ocular muscles, the muscles of the face around the eyes, um, oftentimes there is double vision. I have not had um, double vision to the extent where I'm seeing two separate images unless we talk about reading black text on white page, high contrast, especially um, later in the day when my eyes are tired, um, the, the, I see a lot of ghosting, um, what's, what's called ghosting. And it's, um, for me, it's usually like straight up and down, stacked, vertical. Um, and so, uh, because there's not a lot of information out there, um, I decided to do a YouTube search um, and narrow the filter of what's been posted in the past month. Um, and so there's this woman who had um, posted a video about her experience, and she was telling my story. It was kind of scary. Um, but she was talking about how she did not know that she was having double vision because, like me, um, she expected that it would be like two separate images that you'd see, you know. Um, and so when she went to her ophthalmologist and, and through dialogue and discussion, um, he let her know that the blurring of her vision that was happening um, was, a, was a mild form of double vision. And so um, that's another thing I'm gonna follow up with my ophthalmologist with because the clinical staff um, who are, are not the ophthalmologists, they're, you know, they're the staff, they're the ones that actually do all the vision testing and stuff like that. So I've indicated both times that I've gone there that I do have frequent blurring, especially with reading, which can be a challenge at times. Um, I'm gonna end up being like books on tape, except sometimes the audio just doesn't, um, doesn't resonate. But anyhow, that's a whole nother, whole nother thing. Um, but so why I'm filming um, is that uh, as you can see behind me there's a curtain in the doorway I also have um, I also have a curtains in the um, kitchen doorway and there's a lot more folds in the um, in the kitchen curtain so I was um, in the kitchen getting something to drink and all of a sudden the curtain started vibrating. I, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, but it was like, like if it, okay, so you see like the folds. So if this were the folds, that's normal. And then all of a sudden they were like doing that and not from the fans blowing or anything. It was my vision. Um, so I know that my eyes were not tracking correctly it was subtle <laughs> um, and you know I tried to grab the, the camera and of course I didn't catch it in time um, because I also have to shift my vision and sometimes when you when I shift my vision um, it can even change the um, presentation that's going on in my <laughs> see that yeah right um, so it can even change the presentation of what's going on. Um, so, um, so it's something that happened, um, for a fraction of a second and I was like, huh? And, and then I was like, ah, poop, I moved my, you know, I changed my vision and then I had to fumble around and then, okay, so now it's not doing it. And then it happened to, um, start to do that again a, a little bit. So. I don't know because I haven't captured it yet if it's an outwardly visible symptom like mitosis is an outwardly visible symptom of what's going on in my internal experience um, 
and I think some of you may have um, may have caught uh, one of the videos that I posted where I was having what's called myokinia, which is like very subtle um, muscle twitching. Uh, so, and, and so that feels big, and you know, from my perspective being inside my body, but from the camera's perspective, it's somewhat subtle. Um, so anyhow, I just thought I'd do a little video about that. Again, I'm just trying to document um, you know what's what's going on um, there is some progression um, and so uh, after the after the video that I watched um, learning of this woman's experience um, again that is something I'm gonna uh, follow up with the ophthalmologist I think I see in November so that's a, that's a ways away, um, but it, you know, if it happens again or happens more often, then obviously I'm gonna make a call and make something happen sooner, but unless I can capture it on video or it's consistently happening often enough that I'm pretty confident if I go for an office visit, it will be happening when I'm there, um, then I'm kind of, you know, it's kind of like wait and see. So, um, this is probably on the early edge of, um, hey buddy, my boy, my boy. This is probably on the early, oh, don't show your butt here. Come here, mister. Hi. Hi, say hi. Oh, Mr. Sleepy Boy. So, um, yeah, so, uh, again, uh, progression, but things are, Things are going on. Look at this, right? Um, yeah, so this is my fun life. And now I don't know if it I don't know if it will do this or not, but there is a test where if you close your eyes for a couple of seconds, I think I think they say five, but usually, you know, when I've done it before, I can do it in less than five. But when you close your eyes, the the lid crease height will resolve momentarily and then settle back down. So I don't know if it will happen. Um, again, it doesn't always happen, but it is a it is a clinical sign. So let's try this. Did it work? Did it do anything? I'm looking right at the camera. I'm not looking in the viewfinder to actually see what happened, but there you go.